I am a watercolor and mixed media artist based in Austria in Europe. I have been painting predominantly with watercolors for six years now, and on my channel I share my passion and love for the medium and the effect it can have on us. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love for you to subscribe. I post new videos every week. Like many others, I too read the Marie Kondo book and tried to implement her systems in my life with partial success. Sure, my bedding's drawer is looking better, but I didn't manage to become a tidy minimalist just yet. However, some of the principles she advocates made so much sense and I found new focus and purpose in the way I paint. And so today I want to share with you my tips on finding joy when painting with watercolors. No matter where you are in your watercolor journey, self-awareness and discovery are essential in finding a creative process that brings you joy and makes your painting time relaxing, invigorating and rewarding. This state of mind is all-encompassing, including everything from the environment we paint in, the products we use, to the techniques we enjoy. Let's get into it. Start with products. Pick the best you have, the ones that make you excited to enter your painting zone. The best paper you have, the most beautiful colors, the brush that feels like it is an extension of your hand. Don't save your best supplies for the perfect painting. Don't be too precious. Treat yourself to the best you have as much as possible and enjoy the moment. Create a creative process that is enjoyable from the very beginning to the final stages of painting. There is no right or wrong here. Thankfully, we are all different and find joy in different places. For me, it is loose brush strokes, colorful palette and surprising color mixes. For you, it can be meticulously sketching small details and neutral colors. Find that place where you feel comfortable, but also curious to try new things. Paint subjects you have a personal and emotional connection to. Get away from the emptiness of what should I paint today. I hated that place. It felt like arriving at the most exciting city and standing on the train tracks stuck not sure where to go, instead of exploring your favorite spots. We have all been to places, grew up somewhere, traveled close or far away, had or have people we love, things that we feel attached to, landscapes, cityscapes, or flowers that speak to our soul in a language only we know. My greatest regret was thinking I needed so much from the outside world, when the truth was, for me at least, I just needed to look inside. A world of emotions, memories, nostalgia, deep, complex, and endless. Understand your personality as a painter and find products and a process that works for you instead of trying to work for them. If you are impatient or have a busy life that doesn't allow you to wait, but requires things to work well and fast whenever you can find the time to paint, pick supplies that can do that. If you have a heavy hand, like me, for example, consider using a smaller brush and a larger paper to allow you for more wiggle room and space. Check in with yourself regularly as you are painting. Look at the paper. Are you happy with what is going on? Are you excited about it? The nature of watercolor paint makes it so we cannot just cover up what we don't like, like we can do with oils or acrylics. If you're looking at the painting and you're not happy and have no idea, clear or not so clear, on how to improve it or make some progress, consider just starting over. There is no prize here for sticking with it. On the contrary, I believe your painting time should be pure joy. And if you've taken a little detour that is not working, go back, start over, don't force yourself. Of course, these are all my opinions based on my experience. I would say if you are happy in your space with your process and some of the results you produce, you're good and as the saying goes, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. However, if there is anything in your creative process that stresses you, that keeps you from painting, that is taking the joy out of the process, rethink it and consider how you can change it. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Let me know in the comments what is your favorite thing about painting with watercolors. I'd love to know. Also, I would be very interested to know if you found a part of your process that was problematic for you and how you solved it. Take care, stay safe. See you soon in another video. Bye!